What's going on, people? So I came across this article, and it, you know, all I can do is laugh. All I can do is laugh because once again, people forget what marriage came from and what uh, spiritual values it was built on. Now, the title of this article is "Wife Sparks a Lively Debate on Whether It's." You now, listen to this, y'all. Sexier. Not right. Sexier for a man to provide or go 50 50. And of course, the majority of women argue that it's unattractive. They didn't say unproductive. They said unattractive for husbands not to financially support them. See, this article is already starting off on female approval and validation. Not on what's right. Not on what's good for the family. Not what's good is good for a productive, peaceful amicable marriage no what's attractive and unattractive that has nothing to do with with actually what works you know that holds both the man and the woman responsible for fulfilling their roles in corinth in uh, quotes their roles as man and woman under a marriage which comes from the, the biblical concept of a man having Rulership over his family and his resources with legal authority, which in today's society, men do not have. Now, this is where we have the problem, because under the law, men and women are equal, even though they don't share equal responsibility. But they want equal authority. And let's say that again. They want equal authority without equal responsibility. And from the biblical concept, the reason that why the man had full authority to rule over his wife and his kids was not to oppress them, was not to cause hardship, but was to up uphold the structure built with those spiritual values that, first of all, restrain their own nature so that they won't mistreat one another, but uphold the values to make this whole marriage and family productive without rules, without some kind of some kind of law or structure or order is it'll be pure chaos and confusion there will be no respect and the purpose of a marriage biblically is that two people come together with the man leading and giving his life in honor to God now who is God he is his word he are his his statutes and commandments so that they can have value out of life so that they can not be uh, overcome by their vices and destroy their productivity from their own personal evils. You know, what good is money if you're greedy or you can't contain your lust and you're just allowing yourself to be taken by a scandalous woman? You know, what good is money without wisdom? You're just going to lose it. And see, God gives that structure for with wisdom and that structure that gives the man a, a a view outside of himself so that he can, you know, basically vet his own actions to make sure that they're in wisdom and that they have the best entry, interest of what his family should be going towards. This whole thing, article starts off in, with insanity. Wife sparks a lively debate on whether it's sexier for a man to provide or go 50-50. And of course, the majority of women says it's unattractive, unattractive, not right for husbands not to financially support this. They already start this whole premise that marriage should be built on female validation. But the whole purpose of a woman being a wife to a man is that she's coming as a help me, as a support system to his program. So you have the woman has to already vet the man that he represents the values of what a husband should represent. Not just a means to an end. Not just a opportunity to extort resources or to validate yourself off the weaknesses of a man who doesn't know his own purpose. You know, and this is why men have to wake up and realize that marriage has been stripped, has been stripped of its true meaning and where its true inception came from. It's been stripped of any spiritual or biblical values that actually hold both parties, the man and the wife, accountable 
The reason that why the man has full responsibility is because he has full authority to make sure that the, the structure and values are being upheld in, in, in the relationship. You know, this is insanity. And people need to understand exactly why. If women choose men who are, who are already established, who are living the example of what manhood, masculinity, and productivity represents because it doesn't take long to see if a man is productive in life. If you're looking for that, he would have a career. His life will be functional. It will, have, it would show results. He would live values that reflect in how, by how he's treating you and, w- and what he values in his own life would reflect wisdom. You know, does he have a career? Does he have his own home? These are questions that take no time for a woman to find out if she's serious. Taking a woman out to get a free meal in a movie is something that any fool can do. Somebody can get money from their mama to take a woman out and go to the movies. It doesn't mean that he's able to provide for a family. And this is what it is. This is an opportunity for women to use the legal system to separate men from their resources. See, the whole idea is that a man of value already has the results of his success, already proves his value in his life that's visible to see. And it's on the burden of the woman to actually see that man because she values what that man represents and come to him on his level to bring value to his life based on feminine uh, cooperation and submission because you want to be a part of his program. You've already pre-decided that this is the man you want to lead you and your family. And with that being said, you know, um, a wise woman would willingly and joyfully fulfill her role with that man. Not try to separate him because she knows that she will benefit by adding value to his life and sharing in his success. She will benefit in it by just playing her role. Because if you choose the right man with the right values, he's going to treat you either as he treats himself or better than he treats himself because he doesn't want his family to suffer. He's working hard in, in providing and taking the burden of responsibility so that his wife and children won't have to. That's why he has to have authority to uphold the structure that that he cannot let his emotions get the best of him. He must keep the truth, uh, the indicate the uh, primary indicator of what's right and wrong. He must use logical decision making. He must control uh, the house with wisdom that the vices of the flesh don't interfere with the productivity of the family. That's his job. He cannot have no interference. He cannot try to be distracted from his purpose. A woman should be supportive that a man maintains his purpose because she pre-vetted this man on those values that she should also share so that she's willing to follow his leadership. And leadership is a man that's already showing and living the example that he wants that woman and his family to follow. This is simple. So this whole 50-50 narrative, look, men should already be fully functional adults able to take care of themselves. And no man should be seeking a family unless he's already established to bring that family into his life. Not to separate his resources from himself, but to bring them into his life. So this article is crazy. I'm just going to go through it real quick and y'all can read it. But it's just like it shows you um, how much, you know, marriage has been actually divorced from its biblical principles. And everybody has a problem with the Bible but the Bible is the only thing that gives man his actual God-given authority, rulership, to uh, bear, bear the burden of responsibility to lead his family. Otherwise, it's just some form of prostitution, ma- manipulation, and extortion. So I'm just not going to talk too long about this, y'all. This is just annoying. All right, peace out.